always the best future ever. Sometimes there might not be cool robots or Iron Man suits. There could be like a total disaster nightmare, like the city of Chernobyl. This book is called The Last Book of the Universe, and it was written by um, Rotman Philbrick. Um, the setting of this book is in a destroyed city called Eden. Um, Eden is a um, kind of like a wrecked city because people weren't caring about it much, and um, now they're just people just crawling around searching for food in garbage cans, and it's kind of a disaster. So um, one of the main characters in this book is Faz and his best friend, a five-year-old kid who lost his privilege to speaking because of um, a known reason. So the only word he knows how to say now is the word chocolate. And um, to get through this book, he also needs a friend called Ryder, a man who, well, a man who uh, <laughs> writes a book and he considers it the last book of the universe because well, barely anyone reads books now, and books are really rare. But, um, yeah, so writer is basically, he wants to change the world by making people read books again. The theme of this book is to stay, um, to stay focused, because um, when Spass gets distracted, he always like, tries to help other people, and although he doesn't mind doing that, he thinks that um, that's not his goal. He tries to um, make um, writer publish his book, and find his sister. Um, recommend it. So I would recommend this book for um, all readers because um, all readers above the age of 12 because I think this book is kind of violent and might not be suitable for younger ages because it might do things like nightmares and bad memories. Um, I also recommend this book for um, teenagers because this book has a um, kind of an interesting plot and I think they might like it.